Hello, 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 bonjour tout le monde, and welcome to the Wine with Jimmy YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and delighted to have you on board. This is a wine educational channel which is designed to help you at home really enjoy wine more and really get more from it. It's specifically designed to help those of you studying at the home in the world of wine. So this little video is part of our series on the Wine and Spirit Education Trust, WSET Level 3. This is the SAT, the Systematic Approach to Tasting. These are my full examiner's notes, so you can purchase these wines, taste them at home, and compare them to my notes to give you more practice, but also confidence before you go into your tasting exam. Here we have on the screen is a Ponset Barbera d'Alba. Now, if you have any comments, any questions or concerns, you want to uh, ask me anything about the wine, maybe you want to share your scores when you mark it at home, please do pop it in the comments section below this video and make sure you click like and you click subscribe to get weekly updates. There's also the world of social media if you are that way inclined. So yes, Ponset Barbera d'Alba from the great variety Barbera, part of the level three syllabus. Piemonte is where we are looking in northwest Italy. It's the 2019 vintage at 14% alcohol and it's available in the UK from Streatham Wine House, which is my wine bar for full disclosure at 21 pounds. So let's go through the tasting note. Here we go. Now, I actually found this to have not the deepest of intensity as I was expecting. It was towards the pale style, so good transparency through it, and it was more kind of ruby-esque. It's only two years old. Barberas sometimes can be quite purpley in their youth. Um, and of course can go quite garnety as well. But this is sitting in the pale ruby. That's two marks available. Now, as you know, if you, well, if you've watched this, you'll know this. If you haven't watched one of my videos before, I split the nose into two parts. The nose is seven marks in total, but I do two marks for the intensity and development, and then five marks for the aromas, making the total of seven. So here you are in terms of your intensity, and development. I've crossed out condition because it's not applicable for a mark in the level three syllabus. So the intensity, I have put down a range. You can only put down one thing per line, but I'm allowed to put down ranges on my tasting notes. So I've put medium plus two pronounced, please be within that area. But it's developing and it's developing because we find tertiary uh, in terms of aromas. So there's two marks. And then for the next five marks, it's really wonderfully complex and with good intensity. So you can have a whole host of things that I found as an examiner. So you'll see primary on the left and then on the right hand side, secondary and tertiary. Now the marks are five here for the nose. There's going to be one for the primary one for the secondary and one for the tertiary. And the remaining two are for anything on this page. But you must get one primary at least, one secondary at least, and one tertiary. And let's go through those. So one at least of any of these primaries. Rose, lovely, almost dried rose element to it. Rose, perfume, and a bit of geranium there as well. Um, I link that into lavender down here too which is lovely and aromatic. Red currant and cranberry, more on the palate, but it's also applicable to the nose, and red cherry and red plum. Tomato leaf, a little bit of something green. I've also put mint in there, which is absolutely beautiful in this wine. Um, black pepper, cinnamon, and a little bit of this kind of wet stones. It's more graphite-y in terms of its character, but wonderful amount of notes there. Bit of oak here, it's more kind of cedary and resinous oak, but you will find a hint of clove and vanilla and a little bit of smoke and charred wood here as well. And then some nice bottle age. Now I didn't find the fruit was dried yet. So I didn't go for any of these things here, but I have gone for leather, forest floor, there's an earthiness here, tobacco, dried rose and wet leaves. Now dried rose, 
as a floral, when it's dried, it becomes a tertiary. It's something you find more in tertiaries. So one of each of those areas plus two of anything else to get your five marks. Then on to the palate. So it is a typical dry red wine, high acidity as one would expect from Italy and certainly to Italian classic varieties, certainly from the north. Medium plus or high tannins, high alcohol at 14%, medium plus body. I didn't go for full because there is an elegance to it there. It's still quite structured with its tannin, but there is a bit of elegance. So medium plus, medium plus flavor intensity. I haven't gone for pronounced because there is quite a domination of tannin here. And I've also not gone for the longest length. It dries up and that's due to the quite high tannin. So at medium, that will become very long, this finish, with time. Uh, but at this moment, it is not the longest. Seven marks there. There are 10 marks available for the palette. So the three remaining is going to be for the flavours. And it's exactly the same slide as the nose. So there's one mark for a primary, one mark for a secondary, and one mark for a tertiary. Please pause this, have a look at it uh, to mark your own paper. That gives a total of 10. Then your conclusions for two marks. BLIC is the Blick process. You do not have to live by the sword with this process, but it's useful if you find it difficult to come up with your own quality level conclusion. Now, I think this wine has balance in terms of comparing the tannin, the acid and the body and flavor compounds. It's all at the very high end, but it's fine. It doesn't have the length yet because the wine's still dominated by tannin, but it has great intensity and very good complexity. Three out of four means it's very good. I think most of you at home will accept that this is very good, but it has brilliant potential for aging. Um, but it could be drunk now, certainly. I think, um, yes, it has big tannin, but I still think there's plenty of other stuff going on. I think it's going to be nicer in time, and I think it will become outstanding. But for now, it's very good. Can drink now, but has potential for aging. Please do tot up your scores. The total mark for the red is 21, pass is 12, merit is 14, and distinction is 17. It will be great to hear what you got. Please do share your information in the comments section below and get in touch if you do have any specific questions or thoughts or theories. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Please join me on another tasting note and take care of yourselves. If you do find yourself in London, please come and see me at one of my establishments for a class, a glass or a bottle. I've been Jimmy Smith. Ciao for now.